He's totally not my favorite, but it sends me back. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm, I'm so committed to it that I'm going to leave this hand out. When I saw this, I said, oh yeah, this is great because this is the one I like as opposed to the other one. There's heat wave. We're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. And then there's also the oldie that's like a double oldie because I was first introduced to it in the 70s and I, and I didn't know why I knew it until just the other week when I saw Linda Ronstadt, heat wave. Oh, that's how I know it. It's the Linda Ronstadt cover. She was doing her old favorite songs. This is kind of one of her themes, songs of her father's, songs of her childhood that then became songs of my childhood. And so she's doing Smokey Robinson songs and she's doing remakes of whoever. I don't even know who sang Heat Wave first. I mean, the first person who sang it was possibly someone recording a demo and then taking it to Motown in Demona City. I knew someone who thought it was Demona City. Here's a Monda Green for you. Demona City. You know, it's in Michigan. Is it near Detroit? I think so. I think it's between Detroit and Ann Arbor. It's like Detroit, Demona City, Ann Arbor. I don't know. I'm sure it's on the map. It's in the road atlas. If you have an updated one, if you have an old one, it's probably not in there. I don't know if it's D.A. Demona or D.E. Demona. Heat Wave makes me moan with delight. I love this song. Not the tropical one. And whenever I would try to find this in my young adulthood, I would end up with, we're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. I don't like that one. I like the, the jazzy, exuberant one. Something about it gets me really excited. I mean, there's that other thing that's happening that's burning up the globe, which is a bummer. But I like the song. Read the book. See the movie. Experience the global phenomenon? Listen to the cover version by Linda Ronstadt. <laughs>